How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the SEMA X8SC, the new X8 series by SEMA. And it is very familiar as the old X8, but they made some minor changes. As you can see right away, they have got the, the SEMA X5U series remote control and they are sticking with the white with the burgundy color scheme here and it comes with the two megapixel camera and they have made a little different uh, landing legs as you can see there uh, it is a removable landing legs you can even remove this thing with one hand you, as you can see there i can just slide it out push it right back in so very easily removable for uh, taking it somewhere and packing it in a box or whatnot as you can see i got all of the prop guards installed as well and they are easily removable no screws necessary you just release the prop guards by pressing that little tab and it just comes right out and you just push it right back in really really nice now the props itself is easily removable as well of course you got to take that end cap off but when you press the prop down somewhat as you can see you can press it down you turn that little burgundy ring there or the red ring quarter of a turn and the props come right off so easily removable <clears throat> and i welcome the design it is very easy to transport uh, there is the on and off switch right on the top just like the SEMA X5U series and that is really nice so they uh, got rid of that on and off switch on the bottom and as you can see the camera plug is the same as before and I tried my SEMA X8G series camera the uh, square camera that looks like the GoPro and that works with this quadcopter as well now they have made a little change to the battery as well this is a removable battery um, proprietary though but you see that little release tab you push that little release tab and you take the battery right out and it is a 2000 milliamp 7.4 volt battery and it is set to give you about 9 to 10 minutes of flight time and the charge time on it uh, is around 150 minutes that's pretty long but you know you just plug it in and just check back on it about three hours later now uh, they give you the four meg, uh, four gigabyte uh, micro SD card as well and that is already installed on it and this thing has altitude hold and the headless mode and the one key takeoff and one key to land just like the SEMA X5U series now um, in order to arm this thing uh, you can arm it by up and down going up on the throttle and it will arm the motors and both sticks to the bottom and in like this will arm the motors as well as well as pushing this button right here it is the one key to take off and one key to land that is really nice this button here does flips uh, this button over here uh, takes photos and this button over here takes videos speed changing button is the pitch stick down press it and you change from speed one to speed two there's only two speeds and if you down press it and hold it it'll take you into the headless mode all right now this throttle stick if you down press it uh, it does uh, some kind of trim so I'm not quite sure I understand that you down press it and hold it and take it into the trim mode and I'm thinking you can uh, adjust the trim by moving the pitch uh, the roll and the the yaw and if you hold it down for uh, more than five seconds and turn on the power at the same time it resets all of the values of the trim all right so that's kind of cool all right all right so i think that is about it so let's uh go for a little demo flight with the new sema x8 sc all right let's turn on the quadcopter turn on the remote and up and down on the throttle binds now it has altitude hold so the remote control throttle stick is spring-loaded 
Now there's three ways to arm this thing. You can use the one key to take off and land. Uh, you can go up and down on the throttle, arms the motors. There you go. And hold it down for a few seconds and it should disarm the motors, all right? As well as bolt sticks to the bottom and in. Arms the motors, bolt sticks to the bottom in again, disarms the motors, all right? But let's check out the one key to take off and one key to land first, all right? So let's stand back, one key to take off. Automatic takeoff, guys. Oh, wow, and check out the altitude hold. That's about a few feet off the ground. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, but it doesn't just pop up. It gradually rises. Nice. And we do have altitude hold on this thing, so that is really nice. Check that out. And that is speed number one yaw right there. And the pitch. There you go. Speed number two, y'all. Not that fast, but the pitch does get faster. And it levels off because of the altitude hold. See that? Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Altitude hold, that is. Because it kind of bothers when you make that turn and it wants to level off. But this one is doing pretty good. There's the pitch. It does have a pretty good, decent pitch. Really nice, really nice. Now let's check out the one key to land. It descends very slowly and comes to a land. Oh no, don't flip over. All right. It doesn't shut the motors off right away. It bounces up and down for a little bit now let's go ahead and clean this baby up because the ground is all wet let's turn this off turn the remote off all right we got it cleaned up and I got to rebound it so let's go ahead and take off one more time I'm gonna arm the motors this time by both sticks to the bottom and in and manually take off nice all right, let's take some photos. There you go, the light blinked to indicate you took a photo. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's uh, go up in altitude a little bit and start the video double beeps and i see that the lights are blinking letting us know that it is taking a video very stable guys okay Going into the sun. Away from the sun. All right. Now I'm losing a little bit of connection and it is not even a hundred meters away. Okay, let's go ahead and stop the video. All right, let's bring it in a little bit closer and lower the throttle down to a safe altitude. Bring it in. All right, let me go to speed number two. All right, let's check out the headless mode on this thing. Down pressing and holding the pitch. There you go. Headless mode beep and it is in headless mode. As you can see, I'm spinning the quadcopter and just going back and forth. That is headless mode. Now, let's get out of the headless mode. Now I'm pressing that button again. There you go. Headless mode is exited. Now I want to show you something too. 
I'm gonna bring it down. Woohoo! It came down real quick. I'm gonna bring it down real slow. Man, it just wants to flip over when it comes down. That is not a good thing. It doesn't want to land nice and neat, this quadcopter. Not like the other ones. Okay, now, bolt sticks to the bottom and left will calibrate the gyros. As you can see, the lights are blinking and it takes a few seconds before the lights stop. Now, in order to change the heading on this, you bolt sticks to the bottom and to the right will change the heading. So if I were to uh, fly this right now, that would be the forward heading on the headless mode. Now, if I were to place it this way and did the calibration of the heading, then when I push the stick forward, the heading will go that way. The quadcopter will fly that way. That is headless mode, okay? So I'm gonna put it back this way and do the calibration this way. So my heading is that way, all right? Now let's go ahead and take off one more time. I'm gonna take off with the throttle stick up and down this time. There you go. I'm in the motors. Sending it up again. I'm gonna go a little higher because I'm gonna check out the flips. All right, now this button over here does the flips and do the direction of the flip you want with the pitch stick, all right? So let's go up a little higher just in case it comes down in altitude. I'm gonna get my throttle stick ready to uh, raise it back up. Hey, it did pretty good flips. I got my throttle stick all the way up to go back, all right? Let's see what it does without the throttle stick. It comes down in altitude and it rises back up to its original altitude hold position. All right, now let's do a left side flip. There you go. So it does big flips. This is not made to be uh, doing flips. This is made to carry a camera. So let's go ahead and land it one more time now. I'm gonna lower down my throttle and gradually land. Now this thing's supposed to have some kind of a, a low voltage uh, function where when the battery becomes low, uh, it will come down to a safe altitude so you can land it safely. But man, landing this thing is kind of funky. So what I'm going to do is land it really close to the ground and I'm going to cut the throttle by both sticks to the bottom and in. Right now. There you go. Right as I touch the ground, both sticks to the bottom and in cuts the throttle so it doesn't flip over on you. All right. I got it powered back on, and this time I got the SEMA X8G camera attached to it. And whatever battery power that I got left will go for a little uh, camera flight with the SEMA X8G camera on this SEMA X8SC. So let's go ahead and arm the motors. All right. Okay, before the battery runs out, Let's take a photo. There you go, the light blinked. It took a photo. Another photo. One more. And one more photo. This is a 1080p camera. Now let's take a video. All right, the lights are flashing, so indicating that it is taking a video. Hopefully it is not in the LVC mode. There you go. The bottom lights are blinking two times rapidly and stays on every couple seconds.
Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and stop the video. All right, let's bring it in closer. Okay, the lights are still on solid, so we are not in LVC. So I want to check out what happens when it does come into LVC. Like it says, it has a low voltage function where it drops down in a safe altitude. So I'm not going to go too high. I'm just going to circle around right around here and just do a little cruising left and right. There, now the lights are blinking by themselves. So hopefully it comes down in altitude and not just drop. So let's see. I'm going to bring it in a little, little bit closer here. So you can see the lights are blinking. There, the lights are blinking. So I'm going to get ready to cut that um, power by both sticks to the bottom and in once it touches the ground so it doesn't flip over again. Well, it is still in the air, and the lights are still blinking. So, don't want to put it right above me, just in case it uh, falls down from the sky. <laughs> That'll be something else. Got a duck. All right, it's still going. This is not a good practice. Um, to run the battery all the way down it will damage the battery somewhat but I'm doing this to test out that function just in case there you go it's coming down fast whoa okay I did cut that throttle but it just comes down real fast guys all right it does not safely descend to a safe altitude it just come crashing down all right hopefully nothing is broken Turn that off. Okay, I need to clean this thing one more time. <laughs> Good thing I already took photos of it earlier for thumbnails and the intro. All right, it cleans up really good. Clean up the legs. Nothing is broken, so it is pretty durable. The landing legs did its job protecting it and the prop guards did help out for me leaving the prop guards on I think was a good choice and these prop guards don't take up that much weight it's very uh, thin and very small as you can see uh, right so that's my review of the SEMA X8SC so we're gonna check out what kind of um, photo and video we got from the original uh, 2 megapixel camera and we're gonna compare it with this one as well and that is really nice that you can use the X8G uh, camera on the uh, the new drone here uh, I liked everything about it uh, the takeoff and landing was a little finicky uh, it doesn't have that power to just rise up it gradually goes up uh, but the landing man the landing kind of sucks uh, when it lands it the props are still moving and it seems as if it wants to go somewhere as soon as it lands so you gotta uh, do that this arm with both sticks to the bottom position and in as soon as it touches the ground that's one thing that I don't like about this quad uh, my first impressions anyway once you get used to it I guess uh, uh, you can pretty much uh, handle it and you won't uh, flip over like how I did this was my maiden flight as well I've not flown this uh, prior to this review flight so you learn new things when you uh, fly it for the first time uh, the second time around you can adjust to its uh, behavior but one thing I really like about it is the fact that uh, the prop guards are removable and the landing legs are removable so you can easily pack this thing in a small tiny box as well as the, uh, the props are easily removable instead of putting that little that pin and doing that little rotation thing uh, that was kind of a hassle you know you don't want to do that out on the road uh, and pack it like that you're gonna lose one of those pins you know uh, God forbid but I like the new design I like the new on and off switch right on the top so as soon as you land when the LVC mode uh, lets you land you got to turn that power off 
on that quadcopter right away. You don't want to deplete it any more than it is already depleted to save the battery lipo cells. All right.